Steel Test, the name that means topmost quality in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products, presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. You don't do that twice to me. I tried. But not twice. What's the trouble? Oh, nothing. What's the matter? Nothing, Cook. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, your very tone of voice and your expression shows that something's wrong. No, nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, cut it out. I'm your pal. I'm troubled. What's on your mind? 
indecision. Indecision? What do you mean? What's happened? Who well, I? I don't know. I can't talk about it. I'm troubled. It's something on my mind. I had a busy day. Can't I be troubled if I want to? Don't shout. Who's shouting? Fred! Yes? <clears throat> how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good. Trouble. Beautiful day, wasn't it? Lovely day. Oh, just grand. Nice things have happened all day long. Really? Just a few minutes ago, I had a wonderful feeling, just as though something very special was happening. Oh, did, did you? Did you ever have feelings like that? Oh, I have feelings like that every so often. Really? Isn't it fun? Oh, why? How, how did you, how did you, what, how did you feel? I don't know, I just heard pretty things. Oh! <laughs> oh! They're I, lovely. Oh, how pretty. That's Where'd you get those? Where did I get them? Hello, cutie. Where'd you get those? I got them from a very handsome boy. From a very handsome boy? Mm -hmm. Since when are you accepting flowers from very handsome boys outside of me? And me? Well... Could I tell you? Well, please do. Let's not have any uh, mystery. Well, I don't believe you are mine because these came from a very good friend of yours. Oh? Yes, he's one of your oldest Chicago friends, as a matter of fact. Is that so? His initials are uh, P.N. P.N. Think hard. <laughs> Does it help? True cooperation. Say it is. Let me see. Mm. P N. Uh, Peter. Uh, lives Penelope. On the, lives on the north side. Uh, uh, I give up. Paul Nelson. Paul Nelson? Yes. Oh, well, then, in that case, it's perfectly all right. And <laughs> I went out to his house. He was so sorry that you weren't there. I wish we could have gone. I didn't know you were going. Well, the very next time, you'll go, too. Okay. He'd be delighted to see you. Be and uh, he sent you some of his birthday cake. Oh, say, that would be great. Well, I mm. had a grand day. We'll go again soon. Yeah, hmm? that would be just perfectly be wonderful. wonderful. Oh, say, do you want me to put those in the water for you? Would you, Ollie, yeah, please? take them down. And no trouble. No. Mm -hmm. They got Because these are special. Very careful. Yeah. Well, oh, that's wonderful. Isn't it great? <laughs> I had a problem. Thorn? No. Oh, you had a oh, problem? Oh, he has a problem. <gasps> oh, oh, something bothering him. Yes, and I wish to be left alone. Oh, well, Ollie, when you have a problem, that's no way. Well, maybe he works things out differently than we do. He wants to be coached, and you know it. Well, shall we? I suppose we might as well go along with it. Ollie! Ollie! Oh, boy! Ollie! Ollie, old friend! Your problems are our problems. You know that. Come Call on. of mine, come yes. up and join the old gang. I should say. Come on, old boy. Well, I'm not quite myself today. No? What's your problem? Well, I, I really shouldn't tell you. Why? Well, well, all right, if you insist. Who insisted? Never mind. I don't insist. Oh, yes. I am. Uh, I'm in a. I'm. I'm nonplussed. You? I. Uh, I've been interviewed today. Well, I think that's wonderful. Well, that's grand. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip yes. hooray! Hip hip hooray! Oh, goodness, we like to see the little. But it isn't that. I don't know whether I said the right things or not. It's so difficult. A star of my proportion being interviewed and trying to give out the right facts. It's terribly difficult. A we star of my magnitude. What? Uh, ma matitude? No, the star was what? Confused. Star of my matitude. Oh. Star of my latitude. Uh, it's a very difficult thing for, uh, for me to give out the correct facts. But I hope I've done it correctly. Well, well if you told the truth, I... I told the truth. Naturally. Certainly, when he asked us uh, our ages, I told him the truth. Oh, well, you don't have to go that far. No, watch yourself! <laughs> <laughs> well, then, then he uh, asked me, he asked me, oh, I don't know whether I said the right thing. Well, what did he ask you? Well, he asked how much money I was making. Well, you could have told him that very easily, couldn't you? Yeah. I what, did he, was he surprised? Yes, as a matter of fact. What did he, he do? He offered to chip in a little bit? 
Yes, he's going to have a tag day for Cooper, Fran, and Olive. Good for him. <laughs> it's not very funny. Good. Good. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Then, then he asked me all about my past and about my about my future in television and, and about my past in television, about my boyhood life, my likes, my dislikes, and, and uh, uh, all my school life and my hobbies and asked me about my mother and my father. And oh, my goodness, I, I can't see that that should be a particularly confusing thing. But it's hard. I can't remember all the facts. Well, what did you tell him? About what? About any one of them, about your boyhood life and your school days? Well, I told him about my early youth in Dragon Retreat. Well? Of course, I wasn't always in Dragon Retreat. Where did you live before you came there? Boston. Oh, that's right. I think I had once you mention it. Do you prefer Vermont or... Well, I left Boston when I was too young. Oh, to know. Yes, really you see, tell. mother and father, if you'll recall, may I talk about my mother and father? Please do. Thank you. May I? Well, certainly. <clears throat> As you know, mother, mother was one of the lovely young dragonesses that ever lived. Oh, yes. She still is a handsome woman. Oh, very. With her long green hair, 75 <laughs> yards of it. Mm -hmm. And as a young girl, she used to fly at night. That was before we dragons were grounded, mm -hmm. which was uh, just shortly after the First World War. We, uh, we were grounded for flying too low over Boston. Well, Boston will do that. No. Yeah. Was it you? Didn't you knock over a barn or something? Not me. My mother and father. They used to fly at night. They they were great uh, outdoor enthusiasts. And mother, you know, nearsighted a little. A little, yeah. But as was her habit at that time, and her hair was much longer then. She's had it bobbed since. Mm -hmm. As I say, it's only seventy-five yards long now. But then it was she wore it long in a huge pompadour on top of her head. But when she would get out at night. Oh, so, oh, well, she just feel like, just like the Mary Ned. Oh, I have yeah. no doubt. Yeah, and uh, especially during October, end of the fall months. So she would take the hairpins out of her hair, and she would fly. And the father and she would just fly, and they'd do all sorts of barrel rolls and all fancy banks and all those things. Of course, those, that's in the old days of barnstorm, yes. you know, trick flying and mm -hmm. everything. And uh, she would let her hair down, you see, because she loved to have it free and floating in the breeze. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to do that as a child. I had a, uh, I had a long bob. That was the style when I was yes. a young dragon. I've had a crew cut since. And are you listening? No. I am. Go ahead. As a matter of fact, I've, I've got some work to do. You oh, don't me. go, Kukla. Well, I've heard this before. Oh, all right. I don't know that you have. I might add something new tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so mother and father used to fly with a mother's long hair, you know, Floating in the breeze, it just, oh, it just, I guess it was quite a sight. Oh, it, it must have been. My father talks about it even now. And so they, I guess they flew too low or something, and one of mother's uh, stray locks got caught in a barn or something and knocked it over, you yeah. see. It was just outside of Boston. But, oh, they were up in arms. Think what would have happened if it had been inside. That's the thing. Yes. Mother never flew inside, except, uh, I believe, uh, the old hippodrome. Oh, was she there? Old, yeah. And, um... I think so, and I'm not sure. Oh, I think well. it was during the First World War when she raised uh, money for bonds. Mm -hmm. She did some trick flying. Anyway, where was I? Well, we were just uh, speaking about flights and... Um, oh, yeah. <coughs> well, this is, I told this to the gentleman that was interviewing me. All well, this. I know. He must have and, been uh, very interested. I wonder if I told him about the hippodrome part. Well, I don't think that's important. I wouldn't even bother. You wouldn't, huh? Mm -hmm. Except no, you don't really know she was there. If she'd been there... For sure. Yeah, right. but it just it might be it'd make a good story because it would show that I was the uh, show business was in my veins. Well, tell him if could you reach him now? I'll telephone him. Yes. A little well, later. Stay a little anyway, fast. this uh the way uh where was I? Oh, in the hippodrome. Anyway We were out of there, we were back flying in the barn was Were you there too? You just told me. You said we were there. Well, we were speaking about that. I mean, we were at that particular point in your story. Oh, were we? Okay. Well, and so we were, uh, we was banned in Boston. <laughs> and um, so Mother... <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I did too. Mother decided to go <laughs> to Vermont mm -hmm. because she had an old home there. You see, a family home, ancestral home. 
And they, she and Father went there, and they remade it, the place over into Dragon's Retreat, which is an inn. Very profitable, I might uh, say. In the wintertime, it's a ski lodge. In the summertime, it's a, a, just a sort of a resort place. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where we go in the summertime. And uh, then, oh, yes, Father belongs to the Brimstone Club. I, 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 I told about that, didn't I? Well, yes, he uh, one of their oldest members, isn't he? Yeah, he's down there most of the time. Yes. It's kind of difficult. Mother has no help at the inn. It's a shame, too. That's true. He just sort of scoffs at responsibility. That's a true statement. But Aunt Dorothy, my mother's sister, mm -hmm. is a very fine... Now, my Aunt Dorothy is a teacher. She teaches... What does she teach? I don't know where. She's been on sabbatical leave. Sabbatical leave. She's been on sabbatical leave. Uh, writing a thesis on the history of dragons from the earliest times to present times. And one of the accounts in that, I told this today, was about how the, the dragon... Uh, you remember one time somebody asked us if we ever breathed fire? Yes. Horrible thought. And I explained how the fire was put out in our family forever by a, an ancestor of mine who tried to swim the Hellespont and had... A, a an occurrence of his old trouble, which runs mm -hmm. in our family. He went, mm -hmm. half the Hellespont went in, mm -hmm. all the fire went out. Yes, steam came out. Steam. <laughs> and uh, so we, uh, we uh, that is a, not a custom in our family anymore. Yes, I noticed his <coughs> picture was turned toward the... Wall. When I told those things, do you think they were all right? Well, Ollie, they're all factual, and I don't see why not. Well, I just hope I did right. That's well, all. I'm sure you did. Well, I'm kind of worried. Yippee, Kaye! Yippee, Kaye! Yoo-hoo! Yoo! Yippee, Kaye! Oh, Coke! Yippee, Kaye! Where are you going? This is the runaway horse. Oh, I see. Stop! Stop! Woo! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> well, that broke it up pretty neatly. Yeah, he's a runaway horse. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you, anyway? Ophelia? Ophelia? Named it after Madame Overplus. Oh, well, you shouldn't do Ophelia that. Ophelia belongs to Yes? Any uh, angle. <coughs> Ophelia? Oh, uh, you mustn't run away, because uh, you have work to do. She is pulling a cart today, and she is a little unhappy because uh, she's been out in the pasture uh, all fall, but she's going back to work now. Now, you stay there. You watch Ophelia, won't you? Well, I won't take my eyes away from her. You you, you talk to her and calm her down. I have never... This is the most ridiculous thing I ever saw. This is what kind of is, you know. Honestly. You talk to her. Me? <laughs> Are you crazy? Ophelia, old girl, did you have a good vacation? Oh, I'll talk to her. Yeah. Ophelia, old girl? She's a quiet type. Yeah. Right? Would you like some oats, Ophelia, old girl? <laughs> Yeah, you talked to her for a while. Oh, I... Go ahead. You need to talk to her about... Go ahead. <laughs> Don't want any oats, hmm? <laughs> Get your own dinner, then. <laughs> People that don't work around here don't eat, do they, Ollie? No, call her by name. Ophelia! Well, for an old horse, you really look fairly... <laughs> This is the fifth time this has happened to me. How, how they can do it? I think they manage quite well. <laughs> and I think you manage quite well, too. I think this is probably just about the end for me. Me, too. You? My dear, great, big, grown-up girl like you standing up here talking to a painted horse. I never saw her before in my life what I get for talking to strangers. <laughs> Ophelia. Mm -hmm. She was introduced to me that way. That's nice. That's simply grand. Simply grand. Well, I'll have you know, I, I have a pet goat and her name is Frances. <laughs> here, Frances. Here, Frances. <laughs> you get caught? <laughs> If I didn't have a deep and abiding love for you, I, I wouldn't speak to you. Well, I didn't do it. Uh, you didn't. <laughs> I didn't it do it. It just makes me mad because I bite all the time. Mm, you'll be sorry. I'm real sorry now. I'm real uh, jaw petty. Well, tell, tell Ophelia about it. Hmm? 
Just tell Ophelia about it. Ophelia, old girl, your master's coming up right now, and he's bringing uh, the job that you have to do. You, know, you just stay there like a good girl and behave. Whoa, girl, whoa. I hope you'll be real happy in your work, too. <laughs> Did you talk back to her? <laughs> Hit the girl, Ophelia! Hold still now! <laughs> no! No! Yes! Remember that old expression? You could eat a horse and chase the rider. <laughs> Fred! Yes? How are you at pulling wagon? Well, let me see. I've got some deliveries to make for my seal test ice cream and my little seal test wagon. I, I don't have any horse to pull my little seal test wagon. Well, Please! Oh, well, Cooper, I'll help if I can. I've never done it before, but I don't know why I shouldn't succeed at this. I have a big, big business. I just had a telephone call from, 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 uh, from a, new, a lady. A new customer? A new customer. Oh, well, if it's a new customer, certainly. And she called me up on the phone. She said, have you got the outstanding quality ice cream of the nation? Well, what did you tell her? I said, Yes, ma'am, seal test. Why, certainly. And she said, well, that's what I want, because that's America's favorite ice cream. Well, she's a smart lady, too. You know, and, uh, and she said, and I want you to bring me a nice plate of vanilla. And she said, I want, I want the seal test because it's so creamy and smooth and packed with flavor. She knows what she wants. I know, and fine grain and texture. Well, uh, she's she expecting said, it right away, I guess, hmm? Yes, and I don't have any, but it's right, I have it right in here. And, and I don't want it to melt. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just can't figure out where the room comes from. Can you? <laughs> oh, don't, don't cry, Cooper. Oh, am I commercial? The CSS people never speak to me again. No, it's, a, <laughs> it's an inside job, too. That's the worst of all. <laughs> well, we have, we have more, haven't we? Yes, but I have more wagons. She really didn't want the wagon. <laughs> I really ought to go. <laughs> I just plain. I didn't swallow it. They're downstairs. I just plain too. Ophelia's not real. She isn't. No. Hmm. Also just plain because after all, I didn't order that ice cream at all. I mean, I, I'm going to eat it myself. You are? Yes, ma'am. Well, wait for us. Yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> Was that funny? I thought you were just wonderful. <laughs> oh, well. We should have an interview every day. It sort of sets you up. Kind of sparkles me, doesn't it? Certainly does. Kind of gives me a little old snap. <laughs> a little old crack. A little old... Adjustment? Yes. Where is it? Very serious place. Well. Look! <laughs> oh, honestly. This is, a, this is a wild day. Uh, I feel like a holiday. I think that's the whole thing. I feel kind of like playing and, and resting and I'm uh, just not working today. I do too. I don't feel like it's a it's a it's a it's a twang in the air. Well, would you like to take a trip with me? You going away? Well, I thought maybe I would. I know a very nice trip we might take, and I'll tell you someone else who likes this trip. Who? Arthur Godfrey. Does he? He's wonderful, isn't he? I like him. Well, he likes this song. Maybe uh, maybe he just might be in the mood to take a trip too. Shall we see? All right, we'll invite him. All right. Cry 
swim aboard a butterfly and take off with the breeze. Let your worries flutter by and do the things you please. In the land where dollar bills are falling off the trees on a dreamer's holiday. There's a dish of scrambled stars And for luncheon you'll be munching rain Candy bars You'll be living a la mode On Jupiter and Mars On a dreamer's holiday Make it a long vacation Time we have plenty of You need no reservation Just bring along And sprinkle it with mirth. Close your eyes and concentrate. Dream for all your worth. You will feel terrific when you get back down to earth. From a dreamer's holiday. Big day, hmm? Guess I just uh, had a little too much interviewing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, I hope I gave the right facts. That's oh, all I, I know. know you did. Don't worry about it, Ollie. You're not mad at me because the joke I played on you? Of course not. Why should I be mad at you? After all, <laughs> you're old Ollie. What else could we expect? If you're worried about them, little old um. Uh, interview. Just talk to me after the show and we'll straighten it all out. Get the facts straight. Won't we, friends? Certainly. <laughs> what I'd like very much is uh, have a talk with Buddha. Well, that's strange because I thought of the same thing. Well? <laughs> How about you? I'd love to. And when we go in to uh, get the chocolate photo, we'll just say, uh, Get the best. Get seal test. And for the best ice cream eating ever, get the seal test dessert of the month. Butterscotch Ice Cream Eclairs. Creamy vanilla ice cream as only Seal Test makes it. Covered with thick, mellow butterscotch and topped with whipped cream rosettes. So smackin' good, you'll want another just like it. Ask your Seal Test ice cream dealer for Butterscotch Ice Cream Eclairs. And always get the best. Get Seal Test. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie are brought to you by the divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation, makers of Seal Test products. Always look for the name Seal Test. It's your assurance of purity, quality, and fine, rich flavor in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products. <laughs>